Samson, the strongest name in rope, has been designing and producing rope in the United States for over 130 years. We design and produce ropes for use in industries as diverse as vessel mooring, tug assist, offshore petrochemical, utilities, arborist, mining, and recreational marine. Rope is an engineered product. It is designed to perform safely and reliably in critical applications. Samson maintains a full staff of product, application, and production engineers, backed up with the most advanced research and development organization in the industry. State-of-the-art test facilities and on-site partnerships with our customers result in a knowledge base we bring to every product we manufacture. Add in the best customer support, global distribution, and on-site inspections and training, and you'll find the best total customer service in the industry. Samson has two manufacturing plants, one in Ferndale, Washington, where the corporate offices are located, and one in Lafayette, Louisiana. Both are ISO 9001 certified and have incorporated lean manufacturing principles, strict quality controls, and full documentation to ensure consistent quality and uncompromising strength. The process begins in engineering, where fibers are chosen and constructions are analyzed. New ropes are developed for specific applications, the required characteristics determined, and a design developed to fulfill the requirements. Fibers are chosen for strength, weight, and resistance to abrasion or environmental conditions. Constructions are chosen to enhance and exploit the properties of the fiber and to provide the longest safe working life to the finished rope. Samson maintains one of the highest capacity tensile test beds designed specifically for synthetic fiber ropes. Testing of new products, existing products, proof loading for critical components or third-party verifications are all carried out in-house. We also perform periodic residual strength testing of ropes in use to determine customized retirement schedules for our customers. But the heart of Samson is the manufacturing floor where fiber goes from raw material to finished rope and fabricated products. It all starts with the raw materials, polyester, olefin, nylon, as well as the newer high-performance fibers like Dyneema HMPE, Technora, Vectran, and PBO fibers all arrive spooled on packages ready to be twisted and braided into yarns and strands, then braided into finished ropes. Before it is put into production, incoming fiber is tested to ensure it will perform as expected. This is the first of many quality controls the fiber will see in its journey through manufacturing. The fiber packages are placed on creels, racks arranged to assemble the proper amount of fiber for each yarn in the final product before it goes to the twister. At the twister, the assembled fibers are twisted to a specific level and direction determined at the engineering stage. There are several types of twisters used to twist fiber into yarns and yarns into strands. The size of the yarn and the number of yarns per strand depends on the size of the final rope. The amount and the direction of the twist are part of the design of the rope. Braided ropes are constructed with an equal number of strands that are twisted in opposite directions. The result is perfectly balanced and torque-free rope. The rope will not twist or untwist when loaded. When twisting and stranding are complete, the strands are wound onto a bobbin, ready for the braiding process. At the braider, the bobbins are loaded onto carriers. For 12 strand ropes, 12 bobbins are required. For 8 strands, 8 are needed. Samson's Ferndale, Washington plant produces braided ropes exclusively, both single and double braids. The braid is wrapped onto a capstan that moves the rope through the braider. The speed of the capstan determines the pitch of the braid. Double braided ropes, a braided core within a braided cover, are produced by feeding a core that was braided previously through the die while the cover is braided over it. Coatings are applied at different stages of a rope's development to enhance performance characteristics. Coatings can increase abrasion resistance, provide protection from ultraviolet light, increase the coefficient of friction, enable color coating, promote longer service life, and even increase the rope's tensile strength. The ropes are flaked into bins, then wound onto reels, flaked into crates, or packaged for shipping. The plant in Lafayette, Louisiana, 
produces both twisted ropes and braided ropes. Lafayette's 12-strand braider is among the largest ever built, while the horizontal braider has take-up capabilities suited to the production of long, continuous lengths of large diameter ropes. Here at the splicing benches, expert master splicers finish fabricated products. Eyes are spliced into the ends, thimbles attached, and chafe gear or protective coatings are applied before they're ready to ship. Lifting slings and grommets are spliced to exacting standards for length and strength. The end result is a product that can be relied upon to perform the most critical tasks safely and efficiently, time after time. Samson, the strongest name in rope.